Hey everyone! So I have been talking to a lot of people lately and they love the viral connectivity system. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, go to any of my channels or go to viralconnectivity.com and you'll see the entire system. They love it. The one question at the beginning though is, how do I find people to talk to me? How do I find those influencers? How do I uh, engage with, you know, all the people that will talk to me? So that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about how do you get the people that are influencers in your niche to come in and talk with you in real time. So if you have any questions, any comments, anything that you want to know about that, leave the comments below. I'm just going to walk you through how I do it, right? So there's a few ways to do this. The first way, the first thing before anything else, right, is that you need to know what problem in your mind you want to be the solution for, in your customer's mind, sorry. So what problem in your customer's mind do you want to be the solution for? So for example, in my previous life, every time someone was struggling with Google+, they would think about me because I was the G+, go-to gal. I occupied that space of how do I rank on Google+, right? How do I rank in search? How do I do that stuff? Now that that life has ended, um, my new life is as an engagement booster. How do I get more engagement that converts into sales? That's the space I want to occupy in people's minds. And usually that question is around customer experience. How do I improve the customer experience so that they always have a great experience with my company? They continue to buy, they refer people to me, my sales grow. Hey, Carrie, thanks for liking the video. Um, how do I do that, right? So my the space that I am going for right now is uh, engagement, marketing engagement, and customer experience. They're both kind of like working together. So before you can even go out and be like, hey, I'm going to start a podcast, I'm going to start my own show, I'm going to start writing content, I'm going to go out there, you need to know what's that space in people's mind, what problem um, you want to pop up with, right? So they think about, I don't have enough food, <laughs> they think about you. I don't, I can't sleep, they think about you. I, my house is ugly, I need an interior designer, they think about you. What is that problem, right, that you're occupying? So, and if you recall, a while back, I shared with you a system that, let me see if I can see that. Um, I shared with you a system that you can still get for free, and that shows you how to become, um, how to become a problem seeker, right? How to go out there, find the conversations that people struggle with so that you can become that solution in their brain, right? If you want this, it's amthatgeek.com, four easy ways. You can download that for free. It's all yours. Just apply it. If you need help, we got a community for that. If you need help, we have a live event. Different story, right? I digress. So how do we find influencers to talk to you? So now that I know that I want to occupy the space of customer experience and engagement marketing, what I do is I go out there and I'm like, okay, who is already talking about this out there, right? People are definitely talking about that stuff. I'm not the only one who's after customer experience, right? How do I find these people? So I'm going to share my screen with you and I'm going to show you a few things. Now, before I do that, I want to show, I want to, there's one step before, right? So once you find these people, what do you do? A lot of people, when they approach influencers or experts or, um, people who have big lists and all that jazz, a lot of them go like, hey, um, you have this audience, you've built it, you love it, they trust you. How about uh, pitch them my webinar, pitch them my product, pitch them my stuff? And that changes the conversation, right? That makes it so that the conversation becomes about money and bottom line and conversions, which is what everybody wants, but you don't want that type of conversation with influencers because if you're just starting out, um, if you don't have great conversions yet, if you haven't tested anything yet, um, they might not look at you, right? You might have a lot of great stuff to offer, but because you, uh, you know, you're launching a new product or you're taking a new spin or something, they will just not pay attention to you because you don't have those numbers. So you don't want to have, hey Stuart, constitute the term client for customer. Okay. Um, <laughs> so. 
Um, you don't want the conversation to be about money and bottom line and numbers because that makes them here and you here. That makes you a seller, a pitcher, and it comes from like, you know, the energy is already kind of like transactional. You want to build long-term relationships with people because business has always been about relationship first, right? If you build those great relationship with people, it's not going to be a one-time thing. It's going to be an ongoing um, relationship that keeps your business going through the years. It'll be referrals. It'll be maybe new business. It'll be something new that you learn. So you want to come at those influencers with uh, equal plane, right? Not sell my stuff, but how can I help you? So in order to help all these guys, right? The one thing that they want the most is the same thing that you want the most. They want more reach. They want more visibility. They want to share their message even further. So you need, you need to help them with that. And in order to help them with that, you can do a few things. You can have a podcast. You can have a show like what we're doing live and leveraging live streaming algorithm, SEOs, content, all that other jazz. If you want to know more about that, ping me, hit me up. I'll share with you my system. You can also find it on YouTube, on my channel. So uh, it's out there. Find it, viralconnectivity.com. That website is right there. You can ping it and find all that information that you want. So you have your show. You have your podcast. Let me just find this so I can. Uh, there we go. If you want viralconnectivity.com, you can talk to me. You can find all that information. If something is not clicking for you, if you want to learn how we do this more. Okay. So you have a show, you have a platform, you have uh, a podcast, you have your magazine, you have your blog, you have a way to help those experts and influencers share their message with people. Now, this is how you find them. The first thing that I did, I wanted to find people who are talking about deep fake. If you don't know deep fake yet, this is something that's going to change all, everything, right? Everything in technology. People will not be able to tell what's real video from fake video. And that's going to change so much in the ability of people to know whether you're real or not, trust you or not, and that trust might sabotage your sales. So I want to talk about that because that's an upcoming technology that's about to affect everybody. Um, so what I did is I went to Amazon and I wrote deep fake and I went for books and I looked at the books, right? And, um, and what I found was this one, the reality game. So I went to, um, I looked it up, right? I looked up the author, Samuel Woolley. And then I went and I did a little search about him find out who he is. I found him on Twitter and I found that he is also a professor at UT. And what do you know? I went to UT. So this is pretty cool. Um, and I went to Twitter and I found him on Twitter and from Twitter, I found his website and I went for his, to his website and right here, I sent him a message and I said, Hey, I love what you're talking about. I love what you're doing. I would love to feature you and talk to you about your new upcoming book. And what do you know, guys, we are, you're going to have him and you're going to be able to talk to Samuel Woolley about everything that is changing the perception of reality. So now I want to be connected with deep fake, right? When someone is looking up deep fake, I have a solution for it. So I want to be found when people are looking for that. And so one way to do that is connect myself with the top authors on Amazon, right? So if anyone goes to Amazon, and looks up the reality game or anything about deep fake, um, our show is going to come up. Also, you'll notice that there's not a lot of stuff written about this <laughs> yet because it's very, very new. It's just coming up. So this is a great way for you to stay ahead of the curve, away ahead of like trends that are coming up. Deep fake is starting to show up more and more uh, in conversations. And if you have um, a keyword, a topic, a concept, a trend that is starting out and you can jump on it before everybody else, create the content, create the conversation, talk about that. That's a great way for you to rise in search and become known for that problem. The other thing that I wanted to do is customer experience, right? I want to start talking to people who are really, really fantastic at customer experience, learn how they're doing it and show them how viral connectivity can be a fantastic add on to what they're doing. So what I did is I went to Twitter again, right? And I just went and I did a search for customer 
experience. And I search for people. Now notice the first person that's coming up is Dan Jingis, I believe, right? So I followed him and I started basically just reading everything he's saying. So I'm very interested in customer experience. Obviously, it will be, oops, I'm not sharing this with you. So here it is. Um, so let me go back. So customer experience, right? I did a search for the hashtag customer experience. Dan Jingis, I believe, came up, right? Um, and I started following him because he's the first person that came up started reading everything that he's doing and looking at what he's talking about because he's an expert of customer experience. I read this where he said, um, many of your keynote speakers choices are career speakers or consultants. I bring practical experience from being in the trenches as an executive at three Fortune 300 companies. Now, do I want to be associated with this guy? You betcha I do. So what did I do? Same thing, I reached out to Dan and I said, hey, I love everything that you did. And I actually read this, right? I'm not just like talking out of my uh, behind. I read everything that you did. I commented, I added my two cents. I'm showing you I'm a real person, not just a stalker, right? And, um, and I said, I would love to talk to you and help you share my message on my show. And Dan so generously messaged me back and said, sure, can you email me and we'll coordinate. So this is how you get in front of those influencers, right? You don't come to them with like, hey, promote my stuff, share my webinars, let's split profits or stuff like that. You could, but A, <laughs> that makes it so that they have to endorse you and know what you're doing and really share you with your list, with their list. And a lot of those people are um, very um, protective of their list as they should, as I am, as you should be as well, right? So. That's one way and that way is not working very much, very well anymore. Webinars are not working as well anymore, right? So we have to come at our market with a different approach and the different approach is authentic engagement on a personal level. So you can do that with live videos. You can do that with live events. You can do that with podcasts. You know me, I love live videos. So this is what we are, uh, this is what I'm promoting, right? So that's the thing for you. If you want to found the top people in your market that are already out there talking about the same things that you are interested in, if you want to associate your name with their name, if you want to start building relationships with them and find ways that you can collaborate together, one of the best ways to do that without ads or funnels or affiliates or any of that jazz is just build those relationships. And one of the best ways to do that, in my humble opinion, is have your own show, have your own podcast, share their message with everyone out there and start getting known for the people that you are associated with. So hopefully that was very helpful for you. If you want to know, hey, Robert, um, and thanks, Carol, Carlos, for being here. And uh, you didn't know LinkedIn had a live stream. Yes, hi, Carlos. <laughs> so, um, so yes, so if you want to learn more about how you can take those conversations with the influencers that you now have and turn that into content that is ranked in search, that is building your own properties, right? Don't build your home on rented properties building your own website, your own email list, your own potential clients, uh, your own reputation. Happy to chat with you about that, either in social or face-to-face. -face. Just book a call with me, viralconnectivity.com, 10 minutes. I can answer any of your questions. By the way, next week, a lot of B2B guys have been telling me that cold calling doesn't work anymore. LinkedIn is spamming, you know, it's very hard to find uh, potential clients because people don't do lunch, they don't pick up the phone, it's very hard to get in front of people. Ads are uh, becoming, you know, not as effective as they used to be. So next week on Thursday, we are talking to Brian from, uh, who has the Bacon podcast, I was on last yesterday. So we're going to talk about that, how if people don't do cold calling anymore, how do you get in front of people? We're going to give you the step-by-step -step system to do just that. I hope you join us. And, um, and that's it. Have a fantastic uh, Thursday. Might see you tomorrow.